Becky, okay, I can guarantee this is something a lot of us have done, but dangerous decisions putting thousands of walkers at risk. Right now, a Largo man is in the hospital after being hit near the intersection of 66th Street North and 126th Avenue. Police officers are saying he was jaywalking, not using the crosswalk. But now Sarah Hollenbeck is driving Tampa Bay forward with the possible solution to a jaywalking problem. You can see the circles right here, marking areas where walkers have been hit. Last night's crash just steps away from where four other pedestrians have died at this intersection, none of them using this crosswalk. Within moments of taking out our camera, we watched as another person darted across 66th Street North, just feet from the spot where a man was hit Thursday. It makes me angry. Beth Foote and Keith Sherburn are flabbergasted. It has a button that stops traffic. You sh should use it so you, you don't get hit by a car. Now with another man badly injured, people who live and work nearby are desperate for change. It does make me very angry because they should, I mean, the crosswalk's here to protect you. We took their concerns to Forward Tampa Bay, the biggest pedestrian advocacy group in Pinellas County. It's hard to ask somebody to walk a quarter mile out of their way to go cross at a crosswalk, and yet we've designed these roadways to facilitate high-speed traffic, and that puts pedestrians in a perilous position. Whit Blanton tells us Pinellas County is looking at three things, adding more mid-block crossings and medians like this, so if pedestrians do cross mid-block, they have a safer place to wait out traffic. You can also count on more enforcement. Bay Area officers and deputies plan to hand out tickets at 62.50 a pop, encouraging walkers to change their behavior. That 10 feet of extra walking is worth your life. Over the past five years, 3,050 pedestrians have been hit in Pinellas County. 75% of them were not in the crosswalks. Reporting in Largo, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck for the Now Tampa Bay.